Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh Heron. Thanks for watching the Moto America YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Look for those red lights to come on when they go out. As always, we're racing. We're green! Looked like a decent start by Jeremy McWilliams. Huge start by Pegram. Looks like he's coming up way right. Look at Stefano that! Stefano Mesa, Mesa with the whole shot. Man, it just uncorked, as you would expect. And McWilliams trying to get down to the inside. Couldn't quite get it done. And uh, that looks like Tyler had a great start and is on his teammate's shoulder coming out of the exit of the Andretti hairpin. But Stefano Mesa leading. And, man, you turn the throttle on that, and it just leaps. Now the question is, how, can, you know, how long can he hang on to this? This is, we're watching an electric motorcycle lead the ice bikes for the first time in super hooligan racing or perhaps anywhere on the planet with electric and gas motors. Yeah, it's a great start, but there on the braking, down to the inside, Jeremy McWilliams picks up the lead. Mesa now into the second spot. Tyler O'Hara tucked in right there in that third spot. Is he gonna take a look around? He's through, so uh, Mesa now sits in that third spot, but still in all, as you said, uh, leading the better part of half a lap here, uh, shows the progress that's happening there, drops one more spot to Andy Debrino into the course crew for the first time. That, that was unexpected to see Mesa lead that many corners on the electric bike. You can see the ice bikes still have a little bit of horsepower on the electric bike, but just to see it out there and to see it working in the pro I mean, yeah, uh, that's great. <laughs> that's that's see, we were seeing a lot of progress happen on the racetrack with the bike. Um, Jeremy McWilliams is gonna do everything he can to keep his teammate behind him. We'll see how long he can keep him behind him. We all know Tyler is a Saturday, Sunday man. He's yes, a, he you is. know, when, when the race happens, Tyler's gonna turn it up as he always does. And McWilliams had a big margin in qualifying, but the, when it comes to the races, you said, look at this, Tyler trying the outside move. McWilliams trying to keep it pinned down and does get the better exit out of the Andretti hairpin. Now setting up through turn three. And uh, with the repaving here, it's, it, there's a lot that's been improved, obviously. There are some ripples at the, from apex out at four. And now into arguably the most important turn, maybe not the most iconic, but the most important turn on this track. We have a red flag. Red flag coming out and uh, somebody down over in turn two and uh, obviously, uh, you know, it's easy to get off in that corner and if somebody else gets to a spot over there and they can't get cleared out. We're green once again. Mesa looked like he got another tremendous start to the inside. Squeezed. Still coming up. And finally, it was McWilliams who eased over and sort of shut the door and able to hang on to it. But again, Tyler's going to work the outside. Tyler O'Hare side by side again, those two Indian teammates. And it is going to be McWilliams with just enough. And somebody running a little bit wide was able to hang on to it. Pretty good one. And, uh, you know, for a minute there, we had... Uh, and Energica in there again as well. So yeah. that's pretty cool stuff. But McWilliams opening it up just a little bit. Debrino taking a look at the inside of Tyler up into the corkscrew. O'Hara covered that. And Debrino wisely just tucked back in again. Here's Corey. And there is the 73 of Pegram. That's, and that's where Jeremy is so good. He's fast lap of 130.658. And he is just really stout. Exited two through three. And a oh, big moment by Tyler. Just managed to save it, but he's going to lose at least two spots here. Gathers it back up, but the Brino goes by, Corey West goes by, and uh, that was a sketch moment. What a, what a oh. moment. What a moment for Tyler O'Hare on the front tire. Corey West, about a second and a half to Corey. There they are, and Debrino is now all over the back of McWilliams. He's looking to the outside. Oh, not quite enough there to make that work, but up into the corkscrew once again. Debrino is there, and McWilliams, a little tighter entry. Debrino, oh, I thought he might try. I would, I've seen some crazy passes over the years in the corkscrew, but outside there, that would have been uh, incredibly uh, brave. Yeah, he would have had to force that one to yeah, happen. But it looked time. like Jeremy maybe a little bit, gave him a little bit of room as well. Yes, um, yes. I don't know if he, you know, sometimes you can feel the guy behind you pushing you and, um, you know, you kind of feel it coming to so give him a little bit of space. But I don't think Jeremy's going to let that happen on the last lap. No, not at all. And he looks back, knows he's right there. And here we go. One lap to go here for the Roland Sands Design Mission Food Super Hooligan National Championship. First of two A-mains here. And uh, again, Debrino rolling a little wider line. And this is where McWilliams usually gaps everybody. But look at that, Debrino hanging right with him. And uh, even maybe able to maintain a little tighter line. 
You got to wonder if Jeremy knows it's Andy. He might, yeah. think, he might think it's Tyler. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. When you look back, I don't know. It was a pretty quick glance. He just knows somebody's there. I don't think it matters because Tyler would fight him as hard as, exactly. as Andy does. So. <laughs> but look at that line by Debrino swinging the outside. And McWilliams covers it. Boy, that was a great move through five uh, to get right up and in there. And now again, he he's alongside. And again, McWilliams covers him up into the corkscrew. Last time, McWilliams protecting once again. Debrino going for it on the inside again. Oh, that was so close to either success or disaster. And he finally <laughs> backed out of it. But obviously, he thought that was his shot because it's going to take something special now for him to be close enough down into 11. Uh, but man, he rolls some speed out of 10. Does he just dive for the apex and go hard in the brakes? No, he doesn't. He's going to try and round him up. Get on the throttle. McWilliams covers on the slide by McWilliams. That's a loss of momentum. It is a run to the flag and the Indian just enough. McWilliams finally earning his first win for Super Hooligans. And Debrino, what a scrap, man. And Larry Pegram, he had that penalty, uh, but I don't know exactly what that's going to be. I don't think that's been factored in yet. Then Tyler O'Hara, Stefano Mesa, Mark Price, Sean Kresap, and how about Chalina Moreta?